Hello everyone and welcome back to my Sims 4 Gold Digger Challenge. My name is Kakulaid or Amanda and today we will be continuing with our Underworld Queen's journey to make a million dollars. In the last episode we had a new baby with Claire and we got rejected by a whole lot of Sims and Solani. I'm thinking in retrospect that it's probably not a good idea for me to try and romance people that don't actually own homes since most of my income comes from bulldozing their whole household. So I believe I'm going to try to focus in on getting Oleana to be interested in us because it said that she found us attractive. She might be married, that's not a big problem for us. Yeah, I, I think that's the plan for today. <laughs> so we still need to throw a dinner party, we need to cheat on Claire, and find new love. So I hope you all are excited, let's get started. All right, so here we are in The Sims. I'd also just really like to establish real quick that I've played with the genetics in Kaz and it seems like the red skin tone can actually pass down. I don't know if I've like said this before. I think we just haven't gotten one yet. So we'll see if that ever happens. I'll be curious to see <laughs> if we end up with any red children. It is now springtime, so I'm just gonna start this off with a little bit of redecorating. Let's uh, sell the tree. Probably leave those little holiday boxes there. Oh, also, I said once it was springtime that I would redecorate the outside a little bit, so I'm gonna do that too. Um, see you on the other side of the fast forward. I kind of like the idea of having a starter hedge as this like it's still not super fancy it's still it's not quite a starter home but it's you know it's an up-and-coming household all right there we have it our new house has been given a little bit of an upgrade. And you can also see the roof now that um, this isn't covered in snow. So it seems like everyone's a bit miserable. So how about we don't let all of my children die? And I think as, as far as Ava goes, I think we're going to keep her in the household as long as we can. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I maybe like get a mod to extend the size of the household so it can just become as large as it's going to. That's gonna be really hectic, but maybe an idea. I've seen people do it before. And how is, how are you doing? Oh, shoot, you're a child now and I don't have a bed for you. Kinda of like this one, I think this fits Demetrios. Actually, maybe, okay, wait, maybe this stays over where that was and then I put this bed here. Okay, that works, that works for me. I heard you became friends with Lily Fang, she's pretty cool, yeah. She's my new bestie. Oh, Candy called Demetrios and said congratulations on your recent birthday. Checking in with her son. Clara is getting a call from Bjorn. Hey, Clara, I think I have a crush on my Maike. Do you think it's worth a try? Oh my god. I feel like they have a really toxic dynamic. He's like calling her up and like telling about how he has crushes on other people, showing up to be rude. So I don't know. I feel like she'll just say something passive aggressive like you should think about it yourself. I couldn't reach my mailbox. It's right here. What do you mean? She's angry. Losing control of fear of unfulfilled dreams. I think she's angry because Bjorn is messaging and calling her about his crushes. Ava needs to eat. Tell me you're going to get food, sweetheart. She's on her way. Her needs are fucking terrible. Oh, child. Oh, child. Oh, child. Oh, child. Oh, child. I hate toddlers just because they do this. Where did you put the food? I need you to eat it. I feel like toddlers are so poorly programmed. Like, what is this? She's passing out. Okay. Then when you wake up, how about you eat them? Okay, she's eating finally. Ooh. Where are you going? Oh, shoot. There's another baby in this household. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, go take care of this baby. Annoyed at my wife who's at work when she could be here taking care of her child. She's clearly having a terrible time. Did I hire a maid? I feel like I should hire a maid. Let's hire a scheduled maid. This house is getting a little out of hand. Familiar orb of the raven. Oh. I know you can like have a familiar with a pet. 
find familiar. <gasps> The Harbingers of Prophecy, and some say bad luck. Ravens are an ancient creature that remains steadfast alongside their favorite spellcasters. I feel like her having a raven familiar is perfect. It's perfect. Um, I wanna, Luna is a good, you know, just suggestion. It's spooky, but I'm gonna see if there's any other good names that I could come up for raven. There are several characters in Greek mythology by the name Coronis. Yeah, let's just do that, whatever, sure, Coronis. Okay, so I bound it, then how does it work? When does it appear? Familiars? Oh, summon familiar. Whoa. Wait, can I have multiple? <gasps> Look how cute it is! Wow. Look at this little baby! Oh, I can rename it if I decide I hate it too. Look how cute! Does the raven like do things when I do things? <laughs> I don't care, it's adorable. Okay, I should probably like take care of this child. And you need to take care of yourself. Why don't you take a shower? No, shower, shower. Clara brought home a bunch of money. Great, you can take over taking care of your kid now. My girl is tired and her fun is low and this place is a mess. All right, kind of an uneventful day, just trying to take care of children. And this one is, oh no, this one's crying too. For some reason I can't hear it. I think it's cause I have like sound turned off or something, I don't know. Oh wait, Claire is doing it. Okay, perfect. Talk to the plant, really? At this time, this is what we're doing? We're talking to plants right now? I guess if we're up, we might as well water the plants. <laughs> it's almost Daphne's birthday. Yes, we'll have another toddler. That's just what I wanted. <laughs> Let's make fruit and yogurt parfait. Oh, that sounds so good. Bjorn's calling. He says, <laughs> I think my gay and I were just not meant to be. Claire is thinking, sorry to hear it. Not really. Bjorn's calling again. I've been thinking about getting to know Erin Vita better as a friend. <laughs> She's just gonna keep rejecting everything he says because she doesn't want him to move on from her in their relationship. Okay, it is time for you to take care of this child. Principal's visit. Today the principal is visiting Demetrio's class. Everyone is to be on their best behavior and not interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, the kid sitting behind him has decided to pelt him with something. Should he ignore it or ask the kid to stop? I think that Dimitri would ask the kid to stop. Demetrio scribbles a note and passes it back to the kid. Stop or I'll tell. The kid wads up the paper and fires it at Dimitri, but it misses and rolls up to the teacher's feet. Furious, the teacher sends them both out into the hallway. Oh. <laughs> Okay, she finally has, um, this is an interesting choice. But you know, uh, you do you, you do you. Oh, <gasps> you bitch. All right, you're fired, you're fired. My child was just about to eat that. Where's that salad, where's that child? Here, Eva, eat this. Okay, Izzy, I think it's time to go hang out with someone. We'll leave the family to themselves for the rest of the day. So let's go back to Salani. Ooh. This is kind of pretty. I really like this. You know, I was thinking where in my, like, not so very family, if I ever had a house in Salani, like, where it would be. And this is a really nice lot, actually. Okay, yeah, this is a nice house. I'm looking forward to selling it. Okay, let's say hello to Oleana. So I'm gonna like try to get their friendship up, especially cause she's married. Okay, they're having a pleasant conversation. Tell a dramatic story, give her a heartfelt compliment. Express passion for romance. You make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. Oh, Oleana also shows signs of the lover personality archetype. Ooh, that works out for us. Let's give her a hug. Start off the physical a little bit. They seem to be getting along really well. Share personal life goals, what she's looking for at a partner. Oh God, why, it's offensive? Oh, now it's just nothing. Heartfelt compliment again? I haven't like updated my game since they were doing the angry thing. Although I heard that maybe the angry bug didn't really get fixed. I wanna knock on this door. I wanna like go inside this house. Honestly, this house is gorgeous. Oh, this is an interesting setup with the shelves. What are these? I've never seen these before. Yeah, I just adore this kind of indoor outdoor feeling to this house. And look at this bathroom with this freestanding tub 
with all these windows overlooking the ocean i could cry like when i go on a honeymoon i want to go to a place like this you're pretty too, sweetheart, but I do not want this gold yellow hair passing on to my children. <laughs> I think their relationship is going in like a good direction. Oh, stop doing that. Okay, okay, it's time to go. It's time to go. No, stop yelling! God damn it, Sims. This is so annoying. Go home. No, look how much that took it down! Ah. Oh, that's so annoying. I hate it here. I love when my sims just randomly yell at people. So funny, eh? Well, we, we were making some progress. Um, let's maybe like send a text and chat on the phone. Maybe we can do it this way. Can you feed your child, please? <laughs> That's a big negative reaction. I never get to see her fitness outfit though. She's so cute. When are the birthdays coming up? Okay, so that's Daphne's birthday, and then Ava's birthday is on Saturday. Okay. I'm curious if she has any rewards that she could buy. Oh, these, these are all useful. Okay, crabs. <laughs> Unique appearance. Never blend in with the crowd no matter how average they look. I think this applies to Izzy very much. She certainly unique. Ooh, this one's good too. Immediately liked is a very good one. Okay, cool. All right, so that should help out with some social interactions a bit. It's Daphne's birthday. Let's see if we can talk to Oleana on the computer. Yeah, maybe that'll help get their friendship up more. Okay, I think this is helping. This is definitely helping. We'll just keep this up. <laughs> All right, you're at school. Tell, did you do your homework? I don't know if you did. Are you going to sleep in the hot tub? Honestly, I don't blame you. Finally getting some sleep away from the kids. Okay, this maid is cuter. I would kind of love it if Izzy was like, ended up sleeping with the maid or something. I hear that if you have social bunny from the high school pack that you can really just like get people's relationship up really fast. All right, you ate food. I'm so proud of you for actually eating. Everyone seems to know Oleana. I keep getting messages about it. Bjorn's calling again. I'm delighted you recommended I spend some time with Aaron. I was amused the entire time. <laughs> Good for you, me man. Good for you. To be fair, I do have one more child in this household than I was intending to. <laughs> Let's see if I want to add some talent points here. Chance on potion creation that all of the required ingredients will not be used. Ooh. Unlike magical social interactions with other spellcasters that will provide some spellcaster XP. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, when experimenting and practicing, Sims gain experience faster with less failures. That's a definite, I want that. Sim reads and does computer research at a faster rate. These interactions also provide magical experience over time. All right, let's do those two. It seems good. I want her to be better at spellcasting. And I think on this next day, this Thursday coming up here, we will do our dinner party. Okay, maybe let's throw like one more chat with Oleana in here. Maybe we'll do some, okay, maybe not that, but not that I wanted to. Where are the other options? You can, you can usually do like research and stuff on here. Do I just have a bad computer for this? Oh, it's school only maybe, is that why? I don't know. Let me try though, a different computer. Okay, there we go. There's all the choices. <laughs> I was like, where did these all go? <laughs> should she create a social media profile? I feel like she should. Huh. I don't know. I thought you could research. Am I going crazy? Am I going crazy? I'm like not losing my mind, right? Sim reads and does computer read. Maybe it's just not available. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Weird. At least we're still gaining experience. And maybe this will end up being like better later. Or maybe not. Maybe I don't like that at all. There's a way to redo it, I think. She gained a few followers, 20 followers, right after making your profile? That sounds pretty good. That's not bad. Mary Soul has sent Daphne a gift. Oh, <gasps> Daphne's red. Oh shit. Oh shit, Daphne came out red. And I was just talking about that earlier. That's so funny. This child is red and blonde. Interesting combinations. <laughs> Gonna be kind of freaky. <laughs> All right, let's randomize. She is wild, a wild child. You need to do something about this. Start with the hair, maybe. She's got Clara's blonde hair. She looks a lot like Ava. <laughs> this kid's so creepy looking. 
bright blue eyes, red skin, blonde hair. Maybe this one for Daphne. Maybe this one. That looks cute. Maybe when she's older, she'll get contacts or something. <laughs> or maybe blue. Yeah, blue to go with the little dress color. Maybe that's green. I don't know. Oh, orange. I kind of like the orange just because it feels Halloween-y. Work it. Sister. <laughs> a child's a tomato. Whoa, that's interesting. I just... I don't know. I just like that this auto-generated thing is kind of quirky looking. Let's leave it. Yeah, sure. Green. All right, there's Daphne. When I envisioned a child named Daphne, I'm going to admit this isn't what I <laughs> envisioned her looking like. Oh, so, okay, yeah, this one's on a spellcaster. Are you a spellcaster? Oh, yeah, so I guess as long as they have the weak bloodline, then they are a spellcaster. I think that's probably how it works. We've got two spellcaster children. Oh, uh, we haven't chatted with Dimitri in a while. Yeah. Oh, they're so cute. She wants to become enemies with candy. <gasps> oh my god, the drama. Two little blonde sisters babbling to each other. <gasps> Love day is tomorrow. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, so today we cause drama. Tomorrow, more drama. Clara, could you maybe teach my child to uh, be potty trained? A our child, sorry, sorry. She acquired the potty skill. Eva is angry because she wants sugar. Oh, Lily's randomly here. I'm sorry. Hello, ma'am. Hey, Lily, no, come back. Lily, no. Oh, she's outside. Is she going to play in the mud? Maybe we don't go play in the mud. Maybe we don't. Maybe we just walk over here. Why don't you hug your sister? <laughs> Look how cute they are. That's adorable. Uh, okay, you just got home. He's not very good at this school thing. <laughs> it's all right. You don't have to be. Pumpkin scones. God, I love scones so much. Let's make a cottage pie. That sounds fancy. Demetrio spent most of recess running around trying to kiss some of the other students. He didn't catch anybody, but the other students were running away. <laughs> I feel like she wouldn't understand why this is like potentially problematic and she'd just be like, they're just being children, like it's fine. Why are humans so stingy about physical intimacy? All right, we're going to have a dinner party. The guests are, you know, my family. We can bring candy. We can bring... Okay, no caterer. Location will be our house. Are the kids biting each other? <laughs> Caleb's here socializing with my son and candy. Where is Oleana? She's like the one sim I need to be here. Ooh. Too many sims in one place. Is this max capacity? Is this now a fire hazard? What if the ground opens up? Maybe it's time for Clara to sneak out. Oh my God. I've never seen this one. Sims with the social anxiety. Dang, Oleana. This is a look. You look amazing. Let me go chat with her. They just did the mwah mwah. That's so cute. <laughs> this is so hectic. I want to debate the existence of vampires right in front of Caleb. Oh, we're already at gold. Perfect. I want to take pictures with her. Of course, she found the workout room. She's buff. <laughs> I'm also sweaty. She's always sweaty. <laughs> Stop being so sweaty. All right, let's just focus on how pretty Oleana work. Uh, on how pretty Oleana looks. Oh my god. That's kind of funny. That's really silly. Where's their, where's their, oh, they're good friends. Okay, okay, okay. Let's take a look. Oh, yes, all right, that's, that's good. This is good. Okay, Clara's walking in. All right, Clara's walking in and now we attempt to flirt. Now we attempt to flirt. I wanna confess my attraction to her. Yes, yes, there's so many problems. <laughs> Angry from flirty spells. No, 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 I want you to stay here. I want you to stay here. Do not insult her. Would you stop with the insulting? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, what happened now? Is it is it considered cheating yet? Liana finds her quite attractive. Oh, first kiss, first kiss. I'm trying to get more cheating interactions happening. <laughs> I'm being so mean. Get caught cheating. Okay, seven out of 10. Woo, seven out of 10, baby. All right, let's exchange some numbers and then I think that we can be done with our flirting with Oliana for tonight before she accidentally like says something mean. 
Yay, level six of charisma skill and our party it was a success. It was an amazing dinner party. Gold medal earned. Clara is uh, pretty happy despite all of her social anxiety and me uh, cheating on her right in front of her, so yeah. Look at all of these flirty things she's getting. Titillating banter, hot and heavy. She's feeling very confident. Host masterpiece from hosting a party to invite, to entertain, to charm, and regale. The host who has succeeded at these may take pride in a job well done. It's really hard to get her in an energized mood, I've noticed. She's always like confident or flirty. Why don't we work out and push the limits? She's feeling strong and sexy from a good workout. It's like a cold shower, trying to calm down a bit. <laughs> so horny all the time. It's almost Ava's birthday, thank God. No more toddlers, please, until, yeah, no more toddlers for right now. I was getting another call from Bjorn. I have a, I think I have a crush on Simeon's silver sweater. <gasps> She's gonna be in such a bad mood. Just be like, no, Bjorn, are you fucking kidding me? Stop calling me about these things. Do you not care about us anymore? Excellent quality, Ava. Go grab some garden salad. I'm curious what this means if I sit, if I click always use brooms. Exchanging secret love day cards. For love day, Demetrios decided to handcraft a card for their crush, complete with pipe cleaner hearts, glitter flowers, and dinosaurs, because who doesn't love dinosaurs? Demetrios just needs to decide if he should let it slip that it was him who made the card or secretly drop it in their cubby. <gasps> oh. I'm gonna say boldly deliver the card by hand. Demetrios' crush didn't even know he existed. This was an opportunity. In the heat of the moment, Demetrios walked past the cubby and delivered the card directly into the hands of the most popular kid in school. After having it declared the most awesome card ever, Demetrios was invited to hang out with the popular kids at recess and lunch whenever he wanted. Doesn't that make Demetrios a popular kid too? <gasps> That's so cute. Um, okay, so we're gonna get out of the house today gonna invite Uliana on a date. Let's go to this Elixirs and Brews bar. Kind of, you know, slowly let Uliana know kind of who we are, our magic side. Ooh, ooh, the hair. Oh, I love the hair. Give a love day gift. We actually have some pretty things that we can give here. Oh, begonia. We do have a roses. Yes, let's give her a rose. <gasps> she likes it. Thanks to their compatible personalities, Izzy formed a positive impression towards Oleana. This will help build a harmonious relationship between them. <gasps> I've never had that happen before. I'm still exploring, trying to figure stuff out right now. Cool. Works out for us. I want to talk about some friendly things. Oh, perfect. Gold day, gold day. Okay, now we just need to get her to divorce her spouse. Ask about love life and discover that the relationship is just not as good as it could be with me. It really means a lot to me that you make time for me, just wanted to let you know. <gasps> oh my God. I think as long as I keep queuing up the interactions, it won't give them the opportunity to like start being angry with each other. I didn't realize this was all under like its own category. Suburban contemporary decor. She dislikes the color orange, ma'am. <laughs> All of your outfits have orange in them. We can do some more romantic things. Maybe I'll ask her to be my girlfriend. <gasps> Oliana just became my girlfriend. It's a steamy exchange. Convinced to leave spouse, yes. Isadora has convinced Oliana to leave her spouse, yes. Okay, I've broken up three couples now. All right, cool, yeah, this date went very well. They have pretty good chemistry. Like, this might be the first person we've dated that wasn't really fucking difficult to uh, romance. And while we're out on a date, let's update our social media. If I light this on fire, oh, okay, okay. I was wondering if it would set everything on fire or just this, that's fun. Let's practice singing. <laughs> Dang, she just gave me a tip. <laughs> I think it was pity money. All right, that's enough, that's enough. All right, that's enough. All right, your date's over, let's go home. We've done what we needed to do here. A new girlfriend, they're divorcing their spouse. We're about to divorce our spouse. So Clara's at work. When she gets home from work, I think we drop the bomb. Why don't we give you a little bubble bath? Spend some time with our girl, Daph. My first red child. They're so cute. Is that sponge shaped like a bunny or a frog or something? They became good friends, cute. I want her to be friends with their children. They need a nightlight. I'm sorry, kids. Let me get you a nightlight. Let's do this blue one. 
Yay, Love Day was awesome and it was awful for Clara. Oh, and it was awful for Demetrius too, I'm sorry. Let's potty train Daphne. Okay, uh, let's go have a difficult conversation with Clara. All right, Clara, you know, it just, it really hasn't been working out for us. You know, I don't want us to be on bad terms, but I just don't think we have a connection. You are clearly still into your ex-husband. It's not working, I'm sorry. I found someone that vibes with me a lot more. That's our ex status number two, abhorrent confrontation. Go to sleep. We don't care about this. <laughs> okay, so I think that is where I'm going to end this episode. I'm going to keep Clara in the household just so that she can help take care of these toddlers for a little bit longer. <laughs> so Izzy can do some other things. And then next episode, we will hopefully be getting married to our girlfriend, Oliana. So I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you next time.